In this problem, we have to prove that the set of integers has the same cardinality as the set of odd integers. Let's go ahead and go through the proof. So we basically have to find a bijection from the set of integers to the set of odd integers. So we're going to let z be the set of integers. So this is the typical notation for the set of integers. And let's let O be the set of uh, all odd integers. So the natural thing to do now is uh, think about how we can write an odd integer. So odd numbers can be written as uh, 2n plus 1. So we'll define our function as follows. Define f from z into o by f of n. So it takes an integer and sends it to an odd one, so 2n plus 1. So now we just have to show that this is a bijection. So that means we have to show that it is 1 to 1 and on 2. So let's do each piece separately. So claim f is 1 to 1. 1 to 1 is also known as uh, injective. So 1 to 1, uh, recall the definition, means that, let me write it on the side here so we don't clutter our proof. So f is going to be 1 to 1 if whenever f of a is equal to f of b, then we have a equals b. So if this is true for all a, b in the domain, uh, then f is 1 to 1. So we'll start the proof by saying, suppose f of a is equal to f of b. So suppose f of a is equal to f of b. So what does this mean? So this means, well, what is f of a? Well, f of n is 2n plus 1. So f of a is simply uh, 2a plus 1. Likewise, f of b is 2b plus 1. Oh, that was worked out really nice. We can subtract 1 from both sides. So we get 2a equals 2b and then divide by 2, hence a equals b. So this shows f is 1 to 1. So this shows f is 1 to 1. Because we started with f of a equals f of b, and we showed a is equal to b. So now we just have to show it's on to. So let's do that part. This part might be a little bit harder. So claim f is on to. On to functions are also called um, surjective functions. So let me uh, recall the definition of onto here. It's a little more involved. Um, so a function f from a into b is onto if for all little b in capital B there exists some a in capital A such that f of a is equal to b. So f takes little a and sends it to b. Intuitively, what this means is if this is your a and this is your b, uh, onto functions have the following property. So given any point in b, so you can take any point, so I'll pick one here, given any point, little b, there exists some little a such that f takes a and sends it to b. And this is true for all points in the codomain, uh, capital B. So it's completely covered, in a sense. Every point in, in capital B is being hit uh, by the function uh, f. So we'll start the proof by taking uh, some element in the codomain. So take any, I'll even use b, take any little b in O. So now we have to use uh, what it means to be in O, what it, what it means for B to be in O. Well, O is the set of odd integers. So this means B is odd. And what does that mean? So that means there exists an integer N in Z such that, such that B is equal to 2m plus 1. So b can be written as 2m plus 1. Oh, look at that. n is in z. 
that's the domain of our function, right? Remember, it was from z into o. It worked out perfectly. So thus, f of n, well, using the um, definition of our function, is simply 2m plus 1. Right? That's, this is by definition of our function, right? We defined it to be 2m plus 1 on purpose. Uh, and then 2m plus 1 is equal to b. Let's carefully look at what we just did. We took an element, little b, in capital O. This is our big B in the definition. You see here the definition of onto. That's your big B. That's our O. So you took any little b in capital O, and we showed the existence of an n in capital A. This is our A. This is our domain, such that f of n is equal to b. So this means f is onto. So since f is 1 to 1 and onto, we have what's called a 1 to 1 correspondence between the sets. In other words, we have a bijection. Same thing. 1 to 1 correspondence means the same thing as bijection. So since f is 1 to 1 and onto, we have that f is bijective. And this means that the sets, uh, the domain, Z, and the codomain, O, have the same number of elements. In other words, they have the same cardinality. It's the same thing. So thus, the cardinality of Z is equal to the cardinality of O. In other words, they're said to be numerically uh, equivalent. And that completes the proof. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.